Hi everyone, welcome again to Author Story. I'm Alexander Lim, your host, and for this episode, I'm interviewing Cassie Parks, author of the book, Manifest $10,000. Learn how to manifest $10,000 by using the Law of Attraction and improving your money mindset. And for those of you following along who are interested, you can go over now to the Amazon link in the description below the video and check out or get a copy of Cassie's book. So Cassie, welcome to Author Story. It's fantastic having you with us as our guest. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you for having me. Fantastic. So Cassie, you know, uh, please tell us about yourself and your book. What's your author story? Uh, so this book is, uh, I'm really excited about this book because this book is about a year and a half of running the program that I have called Manifest 10K. Mm. Uh, and it's everything that I learned, I watched people go through and I helped coach them through um, the program. And I saw the common themes and I saw why the law of attraction wasn't working for some people with money and people mm. that came to the course immediately had success. And right. so I really wanted to write the book that outlined you know, the process that I've been teaching in that course for um, over two years now. Hmm. Okay, okay, got that. But uh, first, let's talk a little bit about yourself. I mean, your biography mentions you achieved, you know, financial independence at the age of 32. Now, I'm sure there are quite a few of our listeners who would like to achieve financial independence while young or, you know, even at all at some point in their lives. Yes. And, and you certainly did not get it by winning the lottery or anything like that, but you did through hard, honest work. Can you tell us a bit about your journey to financial independence? Yes. Um, so I used all of the uh, techniques that I talk about in Manifest 10,000. Hmm. Um, and what I did is really up my game in terms of my money mindset. You know, hmm. I really started to focus on, it's funny, I look back at some, um, I have some worksheets that I did at like the first money course I ever did, you know, and right. my thoughts around money were like money was hard. Right. Uh, it's too hard to become financially independent. I'll never have enough money. Right. And so I really went to work on changing that story and changing that because it, I wanted to be financial independence was like really what I wanted. And what I mm. wanted was to not have to go to work, to have that choice. Mm. And so when I started working, you know, using the law of attraction and changing my money mindset and really opening up to the fact that money could be easier, like I could find a path to do right. that sooner in life, right. um, the, the path sort of started to appear. And for me, the path was uh, real estate. Mm, okay. it, yeah. So cool. investing in real estate. And I all think right. it's different for everybody. But as I started to work it, all of a sudden, sort of just the real estate opportunities started landing in my lap. And I'm like, mm. oh, this is it. And then, <laughs> you know, <laughs> okay. the more, yeah, the more I kept working the tools, the, the more um, just amazing opportunities kept coming into my lap. And so that's, you know, that's how I did it. Right. Cool. Fantastic. So, you know, Cassie, you know, everyone loves a before and after story. Who was yeah. Cassie Parks before she achieved this mindset, this financial independence? And who is Cassie Parks afterwards? Oh, my goodness. This is such a great and fun question. So um, I alluded to it a little bit in my last answer. But, okay. you know, I was a person who believed that um, money was hard. Mm -hmm. You know, I never believed, um, you know, I talk about in the book, one of the conversations that I had with my dad that really shaped how I looked at money. And he, mm -hmm. he, um, you know, he attributed it to luck, really, mm -hmm. uh, that he was able to make the income that he made. Okay. And, um, and when we had this conversation, you know, I basically, what I took away from it when I was 15 years old was like, and he worked a lot of hours, like a wow. lot. I mean, he was a person who, when I was a kid, probably worked 80 hours a week. Wow. And okay. yeah. And so that was my view of how, what I would have to do if I could even find the path that I could do, because right. he told, again, he told me it was lucky. Right. So I didn't really know how to create a path of luck. Right. And I didn't, I knew I couldn't, I'm not the type of person who can work 80 hours a week. That's right. Just, you know? Right. And <laughs> so that's who I was. And I really fought against all the beliefs around that. Hmm. Um, and I would spend money. And in terms of money, you know, I could, you know, I started out making money, uh, you know, I, I always had a job, but a lot of times I worked really hard. And one of the mm. things, you know, I would always work, I would get a raise at work, right. but that would come with like more responsibility. And so right. I'd be putting in more and more hours. So, right. so I was working, you know, 60 plus hours a week. I okay. was, um, you know, I would uh, spend money on things that didn't 
that I didn't love just sort of for that high of spending money. Mm -hmm. So while there might have been some money, it also flew out the door really fast because I didn't know how to own it and take responsibility oh. for it and, in, you know, and really use it for what best served me and what I enjoyed most. Right, right. Yeah. So that's the before. Okay. Uh, the after right now is... Um, you know, obviously I was able to create financial independence. Uh -huh. uh, I now live in a place that I wouldn't even really admit I wanted to live, which is the Four Seasons Denver. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, it's, cool. it's fabulous. And that was sort of my secret dream that, you know, I wanted to live here, but I was like, oh, that'll never happen. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so, yeah. And I use my money, you know, now money is, um, I really treat it as sacred, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Okay. Cool, I got that. So, so you're no longer working them sixty-hour weeks and uh, all that stuff. You just, uh, you know, you don't have to spend that much time trying to create money. Yes, yeah, like it comes easier, and the more you get practice with that, sort of it being mm -hmm. easier and um, all of that, it gets it gets easier and easier. So, I definitely don't work sixty hours a week right, <laughs> anymore. Right. I probably work. <laughs> You know, like I think I probably still average four, but it's in okay. my coaching business, so it doesn't. Okay. Or not four, forty. Sorry. Right. <laughs> uh, forty, and so it doesn't. A lot of times, it doesn't feel like work. I don't realize I'm working. Nice. Versus, yeah, it felt very forced when I was working in my corporate job. Right. Okay. Cool. Got that. Okay. So you know, Cassie, you know, you are a successful life coach, and I mean, let's face it, you really don't need to write a book. Uh, what inspired you to write this book? Yeah, uh, just that I wanted, I saw the difference, you know, people in the Manifest 10K course, oh my goodness, um, like someone just manifested the perfect, her perfect new home. She's so excited mm. about it. This was just yesterday, you know, people manifested wow. $25,000 that really changed their life. Um, and, you know, people manifested, you know, money that, you know, in other countries, like in Africa, you know, like enough money to send their kids to school. Um, and so stories like that really made me want to share the program and the knowledge that I learned with other people. And so writing a book was a way to open up that opportunity to a bigger audience and really help other people um, not be frustrated trying to use the law of attraction to attract money anymore, but really be able to step into that place of having money find them and it be easy and flow. And, um, you know, if they're a business owner, have their clients find them. If, you know, if they need something like to pay for their kid's school, to, right. ha to be open to that money just sort of showing up and, and that being good. Right, right. Okay, cool. Well, that's definitely a different mindset compared to the average mindset of, oh, gosh, I got to work, you know, got to work for the man and all that stuff. Yes, yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. So let's talk a little bit about the title. I mean, you, the, the figure here is $10,000. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, for this sounds like a really big claim, you know, making $10,000 in, what, three months' time? Mm -hmm. um, well, anyway, anyway, yeah, anyway, for the average person, I mean, like someone like Donald Trump, 10K is chump change. So the question is, is it really possible to do so in that amount of time? It is definitely possible. Hmm. Um, if you commit to the process, you know, I I did it like when I, so the, the program actually used to be called Money, Money, Money. Mm -hmm. But what I found is that when, so then people would just open up to these really big numbers. They'd be like, I want to manifest $2 million in the next 90 days. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. But what I saw was that was just too big. Their minds could not wrap around that number. Ah, okay. And so they wouldn't be successful because it was just too big. And so, but it was also, you know, so I picked 10,000 mm -hmm. um, because I had people who definitely had manifested it when I changed the, when I picked the 10,000 number who had manifested, you know, it's someone who manifested 20,000, 25,000, all these other, you know, very close to $10,000. There's a lot of people who manifested right around that number. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. also I realized like for most people, 10,000 is a bit of a stretch. Okay. But it's also um, big enough. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a big enough number to where you have to open up your mind and you have to sort of look at things differently. Mm -hmm. You have to be, you know, practicing new ways of thinking, but it's also not so big that it's overwhelming. Mm. OK, OK, I got that. I got that. Cool. So yeah. just, just curious, how many people who have taken this program or read the book have actually made 10,000 in, uh, in the time that you said they would? 
Um, so I don't have the exact numbers on that. I should right. look it up. Right. Um, I would say that the average person in that time will manifest twenty five hundred dollars okay. um, based on like the data that I've seen. Right. And I think that that's um, I think that's a good number because that has an impact on most people's life. Right. I mean twenty five hundred. Yeah, some people manifest. I've had people manifest a hundred thousand dollars in the wow. many days. Cool. Yeah, I've had <laughs> lots of people manifest the ten thousand or right at ten thousand. Um, you know, like I said, twenty, twenty-five. You know, some of those bigger numbers stick in my head. Um, and so, lots of people have manifested close. You know, six, seven thousand um, dollars. And in fact, there's a per woman who, when the book first came out, she read the book. She manifested seventy-five hundred dollars within twenty-four hours. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And so, yeah, and it really depends on how, uh, I think, how new you are to the process or sort of what you know and how right. much of the law of attraction you've been practicing. Right. So for her, it was some magic tweaks that were in the book where she was like, I've been doing that wrong. I've been doing that wrong. I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. And so instantly it had, you know, she bumped up $7,500 in 24 hours. And so if someone's a little bit new to the process, right. it might take them a little bit longer and mm. everybody comes with their own set of beliefs. But right. um, the coolest thing about the process is that you, know, you do it over and over again and you can get right. better each time. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. that, that sounds pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Cassie, let's talk about something that everyone should be aware of in the first place and I mean everyone in this modern society uh, mm -hmm. the money mindset what defines a successful money mindset from an unsuccessful money mindset mm. you know it's really the the thoughts and beliefs that you have about money so mm. if you know if it's an unsuccessful money mindset you know, you're going to have thoughts like money is always hard. It's always hard. I'm never going to make it. Mm -hmm. um, I can't do this. You know, something always happens. That's a big one, actually, I see with clients is that <clears throat> some people can, can attract money, but then something catastrophic happens to sort of take that windfall away. Mm, okay. Yeah. So those are some of the components of an unsuccessful money mindset. A successful money mindset, you know, is very much, I think, based in trust that there, you always have what you need, mm, you know? Okay. And so when you start with that basis of that you have what you need and you're always taken care of and you can believe that, and it takes a while if that hasn't been true for you in your life to start believing that, but once you start to see the evidence of that, it gets easier and easier. Mm -hmm. And when you have that belief, it's easier to attract money because you're not in that sort of desperate, I gotta have it right now, grasp right. In place. Right, right. Yeah which is often what happens when people have an unsuccessful money mindset. Um, I see. And then I think a lot that goes along with a successful money mindset is really like this honor and like I call money, you know, I said money is sacred to me earlier and mm -hmm. I like that's true. Like really when you, a successful money mindset not only includes just thinking that money can come easier or you can have money, you're capable of getting money, but that you are capable of handling money and honoring mm -hmm. money. And, um, you know, so often people think that, oh, if I just had more money, like all my problems would be solved. Right. And we know, <laughs> you know, right. by watching lottery winners go broke right. within three to five years, that, it, that more money doesn't always solve those problems. And in fact, more money usually makes them worse. Right. So it's really about how you honor and cherish and are grateful for the money that you do have in your life. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I got that. Cool. So, you know, it seems to you that this mindset, you know, it's it's about money, but it also seems that there is something else involved. Is this really the case with, with regards to the mindset? Yeah, I think your money mindset is, um, it, there is more involved. And I think actually there's a huge um, self-love, self-worthiness component that goes with your money mindset. Okay. You know? Um, you have to know that you are worthy of having that money and caring for that money and mm. honoring that money in order for it to come to you. Mm. Um, and you have to believe that you're worthy of having that life that you want. Um, and I know for me, like the reason why I had to work so many, you know, the reason why I created a situation where I had to work so many hours for the money is because I believed I had to like work really hard to earn it. I couldn't just get it in 40 right. hours a week. Right. I was only deserving if I worked 60 plus hours a week. 
Mm, okay, all right. And of course, you did work 60 hours a week to get that money then. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And so even if, you know, I would create things, even if there wasn't stuff to do, I'd find a way, you know, looking back, I know that I found a way because I was trying to, you know, earn it or um, be worthy of it. And right. once I realized that and I could really just honor myself and be worthy of having what I had and mm -hmm. um, and loving and honoring the money that was coming in and knowing that it was, I was worthy of that, um, that shifted and changed and really, you know, sort of set that path to becoming financially independent because cool. it's, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, please continue, sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say because becoming, you know, financially independent and not having to go to work. If, if uh, I was still somebody who thought I had to work 60 hours a week to right. earn money, right, right. I couldn't have created that path to not have to go to work. Okay. So I definitely had to clean that up mm -hmm. um, before that path could open. Mm, okay. All right. Cool. Interesting. Okay. Got that. Cool. So Cassie, you also use a concept called the law of attraction. You know, now, granted, some of our listeners might have had some exposure to this, but for the benefit of those of us who aren't aware of this, what's it all about? Uh, so, for me, the law of, the law of attraction is um, it's physics. It's like attracts like. Mm -hmm. So, what you are, who you are being, who you are vibrating as, how you're showing up in the world, um, determines what's attracted to you. Mm -hmm. And what plays into this is both the phys the physics acts. Um, the physics point where we, you know, we attract like a magnet okay. what, where we are. So if you're the person we talked about unsuccessful money mindset. Mm -hmm. So if you're the person who believes like you can't have money, even if that money comes in, like I said, there might be a catastrophic thing or your car breaks down. And so you have to put out the $3,000 you just manifested out of the blue. Right. Um, but if you have a positive money mindset, you would draw opportunities to get more and more money to you. Mm. Um, and so there's the the physics aspect, this, that part. There's also the neuroscience part. You know, our brains. Mm -hmm. There's so much information that our brains cannot take in. Right. Um, everything. And so our brains, we tell our brains what we want to see and what we want to find. And mm -hmm. so when you have an unsuccessful, like you put it, money mindset, right? you know, I can't have money, this doesn't work, that's what your brain is going to focus on. There might be mm. 10 opportunities to manifest money easily, but you're not seeing them because your thoughts are, I can't have money, it doesn't work, ah. I always lose my money. Yeah. And so, and so, so sort of like a filter then, something like that. Yes, it's definitely a filter. And so okay. everything gets filtered through that. So all the information, your brain's like, this is what you want to know. So I'm going to tell you that that's true. Right. So it definitely filters to just that. Whereas when you shift your money mindset, and this happens so, that I see this all the time when people go through the course, like when you shift your money mindset um, and you're like, you know, I'm attracting money, I'm worthy of money, money right. finds me, all these things, uh -huh, uh -huh. your filters change. And all of a sudden you see all these opportunities that, you know, that were right there before, you know, I have a client and we worked pretty closely together and she, as soon as we worked together, you know, she went home and there was this job that's this amazing job that was actually her dream job. Uh -huh. It was right there the whole time, mm -hmm. but she couldn't see it. Um, she, her, you know, it's, it was actually going to work and sort of taking over her dad's business. Her dad couldn't see it either because she didn't see it. But as soon ah. as she shifted and was like, I can have this job where I have this flexibility, I have this, you know, she went home and he's like, hey, I just had a crazy idea. Would you like to be trained to do what I do and then I can pass my business on to you? Uh huh. And, you know, some people will say, well, that was going to happen anyway. Well, it hadn't happened in the two years that I'd known her. Okay. You know, I, we had sort of worked on and off together. And when we worked really intently together for three days on a different um, process that we had, it just showed up immediately. And um, there's so many stories like that where people automatically start to see and believe differently about money. Mm -hmm. And they see, like, oh my gosh, this money was right here. Um, all along. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Interesting. So, yeah. I, so those are those are you know those are pretty good examples. I mean, those are examples where 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 the law of attraction seems to really work. Yeah. All right. Cool. So you know, but you know, on the on the flip side, you know, Cassie, there might be some people out there who say, you know, oh, the law of attraction is uh, hooey. I tried it. My life is still in the dumps. Is there something that these people are missing or is there something else at play here? 
I think there's something that they're missing. Okay. Um, so here's the here's what I find to be true. You can't try the law of attraction for three or four or five days and expect like everything to change. Um, you know, because you've been having those patterns and those thoughts in your brains for a while. And so just being positive for three days or saying like you can have money for three days usually isn't long enough to change what's already gone on mm. and sort of those thought patterns in your brain. It's not enough to change the filters. It's not enough right. to, to, for you to see the new stuff getting attracted to you. Mm -hmm. uh, so often I see that. And then, you know what, there's often the, this is actually um, where most people find me for coaching, this is my sweet spot, is they've been trying it for a while. Okay. Um, not necessarily the people that have given up, but they've been trying it. They're like, I know that this works, but okay. I'm missing something. And right. usually when I sit down with them, you know, it could just be a minor thing that they're focusing on. Uh -huh. It could be just a way that they um, are trying to make something happen instead of letting it happen. Mm -hmm. um, and so sometimes it's just a minor tweak that you can't see when you're doing it on your own. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, like I said, it could be just, you know, and sometimes it's actually not seeing, this is probably one of the biggest ones. It's not seeing that it's working. I always recommend people like keep an evidence log mm -hmm. so that on those days where you feel like, oh, nothing ever, it's nothing's changed. You can mm -hmm. go look at the list of, and say, oh yeah, that did change. That happened. Oh yeah. Things are happening. Mm. Okay, cool. I got that. I got that. So very interesting. So definitely there's something missing then that people aren't seeing okay yeah all right cool so you know Cassie you mentioned you mentioned uh, that you've got a program that you started a couple of years ago um, mm -hmm. I, I take it I mean I take it this is uh, this is a program that enables people to get a clear direction uh, in case the way is cloudy so to speak can you just tell us a little bit about this program yeah it's called manifest 10k and people can register at manifest 10k.com and I actually um, it's a pay after you manifest course. So you do have to sort of pay a dollar tribute to get started. Okay. And then you just pay 10% of whatever you manifest. Oh, okay. So, Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And it goes through 90 days and it walks you step by step. Like it really breaks down on day one. It says, okay, let's, cause this is, and this is the, a lot of what people don't get clear on and why it sometimes doesn't work is this day one assignment where I say, get exactly clear. When you manifest $10,000, what is that going for? What do you want? Hmm. You know, what are you going to spend that on? Right. Um, because so, because our brains um, like more information and your brain, hmm. I always say, can help you out in the process the more information you give it. So when you get really clear, um, and again, this is where a lot of people get off is they just, they're not clear in what they're asking for. Okay. Um, and so I have people, you know, write it out exactly and make sure they they spend every penny of the ten thousand dollars you know if you're gonna if you want it for a trip look up exactly how much that trip is gonna cost if you're gonna pay off your credit card bill mm -hmm. get that number and then I also ask people to take that a step further mm -hmm. and say okay if you have you know 25 100 whatever that credit card payment was a month what are you gonna do with that money after it's paid off mm. Okay. to really get that clarity because it's not really the ten thousand dollars that generally most people want they want right. what the ten thousand dollars is going to buy ah okay so yeah. it's it's something like it's something like uh, i intend to manifest uh, ten thousand uh, dollars in 90 days to i don't know let's say buy a new car or something like that it's, it's mm -hmm. sort of like it's not just the ten thousand itself it's sort of like what comes after that what the ten thousand is for yes yeah, and so that's like the first step is getting clear on that. And then, um, you know, it just really breaks down the process of so that people could see, like you mentioned, like there must be missing something. Mm -hmm. The process breaks it down so that people can see maybe what they were missing or so that they have the step-by-step -step process that I know works. So it's just like focusing on one thing a day. Like here's one assignment. All right. Here's another assignment. All right. And the thing that makes the program a little bit different, and I talk about this in the book as well, is really priming yourself, you know, instead of going straight for like, I want this and I expect to see money, is sort of um, doing it in a game sense, really having fun with seeing where money's showing up in your life, whether it's mm. $10,000 on a billboard, whether it's, right. you know, really opening up that thing. You know, we talked about the filter. And so right. just um, one of the ways, that, and I think the reason that this course is so successful is that I open up that filter before you really start getting into some of the bigger work. Mm -hmm. 
um, that's of the law of attraction and creating stuff so that you're already open for it mm. when we sort of start to do the the quote unquote work parts all right cool fantastic okay so Cassie you know let's say you come across someone who's you know really determined to get ten thousand dollars ASAP or even wants financial independence you know as mm -hmm. soon as possible wants it so badly but doesn't have the first idea of how to go about it and you only had enough time to tell this person one thing what would be that one thing you would tell him or her I would just say um, close your eyes and get really clear on what that looks like so if it's financial independence get super clear on what that looks like if you're financially independent today by the end of today mm -hmm. what does tomorrow look like hmm okay all right definitely so that visual visualization then sorry is uh, very important to uh, to the manifestation then yeah visualizing and even um, yeah it's it's more the clarity so many people it's like mm. I want this thing right but they don't know then what that's gonna bring them right 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 so they don't know like what it's gonna oh I'm um, I'm gonna get up at 10 o'clock instead of six o'clock right like, they don't connect to that and when you start to connect to those things you can connect to how that's gonna feel which is really important when you're attracting anything hmm right okay so you just you mentioned feelings so feelings then it's is this another important element to manifestation this is a very important um, part to manifestation so you you have to feel now how you're gonna feel then so if that mm. new car like you said is gonna make you feel um, powerful you want to go find 10 things that you can do now that are gonna make you feel powerful and you want to be engaging that powerful feeling mm. um, every day because that's what's gonna bring that car into you and if okay. you stand around yeah okay yeah you were saying sorry oh that's okay uh, I was just saying so if you're um, you know if you're standing around feeling unpowerful like it's okay. not working like this isn't working it's not gonna <laughs> right. work oh okay you and engage in other things that make you feel powerful you're gonna attract that car a lot faster oh okay cool fantastic okay cool so you know Cassie authors who write nonfiction books they sometimes go on a journey as they do so has working on this book done that for you yeah um, it's such a good journey so I it was really a journey um, going back over when I wrote the book about 18 months of my my business and watching how it had grown and um, really remembering all the people that I had helped along the way which was mm. the most fun part you know I got to okay. go back and like read my emails of people who you know were first in the course and I got to just remember and um, it was really good because I always find when you put it down on paper mm. um, as an author that for me it's having it on paper that really reflects back to me how much of the um, authority or the coach how much I know um, and so being able to put down on paper everything that I had learned through coaching my clients in the last year and a half as well as my own journey right. um, was super powerful to me and just um, a lot of fun to see but also really reinforced how far I'd come as a coach mm, all right cool got that okay cool so um, before we wrap up Cassie in the last few minutes of this of this interview are there any last words of wisdom anything at all you'd like to share to inspire our listeners um, just that you uh, it's possible to create whatever you want to create and so even if you haven't been successful in the past um, just really take the time to really get that clear picture that clear visualization of what it is that you want in your life mm -hmm. and then let go you know and see what happens and what might happen you might have done that actually before you listen to this interview and you're like oh I need to go join that course right or it might happen and you might you know when you let go of it and you let the path appear you might go find a book that has the exact answer you need or someone might come into your life and offer you out of the blue that job you've been waiting because you got really clear but um, I think the most important thing that you can do is get super clear on what it is that you want Mm -hmm. um, and then ask yourself how that's going to make you feel when you have it and then just go play with in terms of those feelings like if it's happy go do things that make you happy if it's powerful go do things that make you feel powerful right. if it's free go find things that make you feel free which can be as easy as like rolling the windows down and turning the radio up you know uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, okay. it's one of my favorites for feeling <laughs> free just driving along you know yeah, yeah. Um, 
So yeah, so don't give up. Just really get clear and then allow that path to appear. So All right. Cool. Fantastic. Yeah. So great words of wisdom right there. <laughs> <laughs> So in closing, our guest is uh, author Cassie Parks. Her book is Manifest $10,000, Learn How to Manifest $10,000 by Using the Law of Attraction and Improving Your mind, Money Mindset. And you can find the book on Amazon as well as on her website, liveyourchampagnelife.com. Sorry, Cassie, I didn't catch that website for your uh, program again. What was it again? Oh, no problem. It is manifest10k.com, so 10k. All right, cool. So if you guys want to want to join her program, uh, take note of that and uh, sign up. So Cassie, thank you very much for your time and for being an author story. It's a great it is great to have you with us as our guest. Oh, thank you for having me. This was so much fun and good luck to all your listeners. Uh, thank you for that. Of course, for those of you listening, if you want to get Cassie's book, Manifest $10,000, you can get it right now by going to the Amazon link in the description below the video. And if you'd like to follow our author interviews on YouTube, it's as easy as clicking subscribe. So bye for now everyone. I'll be back on Author Story next time with another inspiring author. <laughs>